All right, wow. so it's gorgeous, Alan. We're it's back. Something, all right. Don't worry, honey. I'll get you inside safe and sound before it gets dark. And I've got the flashlight. I know. I'm okay. Alice had a phobia, the fear of darkness. I wanted to make sure we were inside with the lights on before sunset. Huh. I'm glad I don't have a phobia of the darkness, otherwise this game would scare the living shit out of me. Are you sure you read the directions right? It's nothing like in the brochure. It said near the lake, not on it. Don't get me wrong. This is so much better. It's wonderful. Our own private island. I don't know if there's like a walk button here or what, but I don't realize how slow she walked. So this reminds me of almost like Skyrim right here. Outside of the crows randomly flying around. But anyway, I know that I think it's like Riften, if you've played Skyrim, where it's kind of like a... I think it's like a, I can't remember. It's a, it's a distillery, I think. Let's see, what does it say? Bird Leg Cabin. Well, that sounds... That doesn't sound exactly enticing, but... Great scenery, though. There's a lot of crows, though. I wonder if something's died in here recently. Here we Holy go. Shit. Let's take a look inside. It's super dark, from what I noticed. Before I before I look in there, I, I just want to take a quick look because I guarantee you, as soon as I open that door, some some shit's gonna happen. Okay, I can't take that. Hey, look at that! Looks like a generator. The old generator had been connected to the power cable. Oh, what? What do I do here? Uh, what? Oh shit. Up, up, up. There we go. There we go. Let there be light. I got an achievement. I don't know how. So I'm presuming that I had to have come over here at some point anyway, as soon as I opened up that door to the cabin. The lights are on. Good work, honey. I'll freshen up a bit and start settling in. Okay. I'll look around a bit. Sure thing. Have fun. The island had one. It was a beautiful place. I told myself I could rest here, sleep here, and forget about my work. I thought we could be happy here. Love story. Maybe it would be that again. But, dot, dot, dot. I'm waiting for that to happen. Clearly some shit happens here. Gonna do some crazy Iron Maiden. Afraid of the dark. Hallowed by that name. Alright. Lisa told me about Cauldron Lake Lodge. The old building used to be a hotel. But these days, it was no longer open to the public. Spooky. Wow, look at that over there. Look at that constellation. I wonder if there's any other stars. Oh well, alright. Enough. Enough of looking at that. Alright, smack myself into the rock. Let's run over here, not into the tree, which I did. Can I can I grab this axe to No I can't. Alright, time to rest. Even though I doubt there'll be any real resting. Alice? Honey? That is creepy. And so begins. A shoebox filled with books by Thomas Zane sat on the shelf. I'd never heard of him before. I got a feeling that my wife is now missing. Let's check out the back here. The deer fest guests have already started to arrive. Just ran into one on the ferry. A famous artist, no less. But we'll see if we can rope him into an interview later on. Now let's uh, go to the phones, caller. You're on KBF FM. Hi, Pat. It's Rose. Why, well, hello, Rose. What's on your mind? I know who that famous artist was. It was Alan Wake, wasn't it? Uh, He's my favorite writer. <laughs> Just saw him at the diner. Oh, I am so excited he's here. I'm sure he's glad to be here, too. Well, folks, I guess the secret's out. This is Pat Main on KBF FM. Alright, so there's nothing important there. So much for keeping a low profile. Ooh, another coffee with thermos. I wonder how many of those things I got now. I think I have like four or five. I believe there's a hundred it said that there is in the game, so I'm gonna try to collect all of them if I can. Alan, I don't know. I'm upstairs. I have a surprise for you. Uh oh. This might get a little rated R here in about a second. 
Oh, oh boy. Oh man, why are there pants on the railing? Surprise! Alice? What is this? I guess I have a small confession to make. I thought maybe you could write here that a change of scenery would get you past- Damn, Alice, you- Everyone Hey, keeps... hey, hey, just hear me out! There's a local doctor, Dr. Hartman. I read a book of his. He has a private clinic here. He specializes in helping artists. Maybe so now you want to get me committed? No, it's not like that. That's not... Alan? Alan? I don't, just don't. I don't want to hear it. God damn it, Alice. God damn it. I knew she wouldn't follow me in the dark. I needed some time alone to think things through. Oh. We're out. Oh shit. Alan, where are you? Help! Alice, oh my god. Right, I'm coming. I don't know about that. Alan, help me! What is going on? How I got there. All I knew was that something terrible had happened to Alice. The phone was dead. I'd have to find help on foot. Well, shit. If he had writer's block, I'm sure he doesn't anymore. Talk about a story like this. Among Alice's things was a book, The Creator's Dilemma, by a Dr. Emil Hartman. Seeing the book brought back my fight with Alice. I didn't like it. And I didn't like the guy's smug face on the cover either. Hang. Sorry, Mr. Allen, but get the fuck over it. Jeez. Alright, run down here. The gas station Oop. was my best bet. They'd have a phone I could use. It looked like a long hike through the forest to get there. Well, now I'm kind of curious as to wondering what it is, like, wh is this real? Is this reality or is this fake? Where was that lake house really fake? Damn. Oh, shit. Well, I hope you didn't pay too much for that car, because I don't think insurance is going to cover all that. Unless you had some crazy ass plan. Okay. Running down the side of a mountain. In the forest, in the dark. So do I have my trusty... Hello? Oh no, not this thing again. Hello? Is someone there? The loose sheets of paper were pages from a manuscript entitled Departure. That was the name I planned to use for the next novel I had never gotten started. I was named the author. I hadn't written it. I couldn't remember writing it. In the scene on the page, the hero was attacked by an axe murderer in the woods at night. So we kind of... Alright, let's, let's F5 this. Uh, Wake attacked by a shadow and murderer. The title of... Departure over. by Alan Wake. Okay. So just so you guys know, I'll be opening up the letters and letting him kind of read it for you. I'm not going to do Wake Attack by a Shadow of a Murderer, but the other ones that I find in Episode 1 here, I'll uh, be sure to pop it open. Okay. Alright, moving on then. 
getting kind of creepy. It's kind of like Stephen King, The Mist, except it's not quite as misty. Uh, shit. Please, I've been in an accident. Oh, there's somebody there, but he wants to create another accident. Uh, that doesn't look like it's the way to go. All right. The lights up ahead were a good sign. Maybe I wouldn't have to hike all the way down to the gas station to find a phone. All right. So I'm not sure where my like run meter is, because clearly he gets tired after a bit. Is there another thermos here? Come on. I can feel it. There's got to be a... No, maybe not. You know, just a coffin. So that way when I'm dead, I can be put into there. All right, it's kind of terribly run over that. Do our little jig here. <laughs> well, it looks like they're using the lumber from here. Anybody there? Please. I've been in an accident. Hey. Hey, you. Phil. There's been an accident. I need help. Deposit. I need to. Premium cabins for rent in. Oh, hell. Carl Stucky. Please. To meet you. Non reflecting reservation deposit required. Fair and square. Oh, shit. What happened to that guy? Oh shit. So I don't have flashlights. Alright, F5 in it. Alright. Whoa, wake fights a Taken with light? The Taken stood before me. It was impossible to focus on it, as if it stood in a blind spot caused by a brain tumor and eye disease. It was bleeding shadows like ink underwater, like a cloud of blood from a shark bite. I was terrified. I squeezed the flashlight like my life depended on it, willing it to stop coming any closer. Suddenly something gave, and the light seemed to shine brighter. Okay, so... Oh man, oh shit. Ow. I don't have a flashlight. What the puzzle? I had to figure a way out of this. Any second now, and Stucky would be knocking on the door with his axe like Nicholson in The Shining. 